um, it's just about a decision. Christ wants so much more from you than that. And he tells you he's going to discipline us and uh, it's not going to be easy. Nowhere does it say that being a Christ follower is, is a cruise, cruise ship. Now, if, as we get to, um, to verse 20, where we put it in into what it really means, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and will dine with him and he with me. Okay, now, now here 21 is so critical. He who overcomes. So in other words, you've made a decision and all of a sudden your life starts going a little bit haywire. Oh wow, that means you're being tested. Okay, do you walk away? Do you pound on the door, change things, Lord? No. If you overcome, if you start down the road with Him, He will walk with us. And, you know, it, it says, I will grant to Him to sit down with my Father on the throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. So if, if you really want to grow spiritually, if you really want to start down the path, there are several things that 18 through 22 tells us. One, by hearing God's voice, that's your relationship part, and listening. And in my mind, listening requires, at least in my marriage, it requires me to behave a certain way. Okay, because Char can say, you know, I really don't want to go out to Mickey D's tonight. And if we go to Mickey D's, I'm not listening. Okay, it's the same thing with Christ. You've got to read the Bible. You've got to apply it. You've got to hear his voice, but you've got to listen to it. Second part is, yes, you've, you've got to be saved. Okay. That, that, is, that is so, so critical. The third part is um, you need to be fed daily. And this is where things really, really break down. And, and we're going to help you to be fed daily with a, with a free product that we have for, for you guys uh, about hearing from God um, daily. We need to overcome our sinful nature, and the only way we can do that is to, by being fed daily. We have to know what, what God requires of us. So we change our, uh, our behavior, and then we start doing some righteous things. And no, I'm not saying, you know, works leads to salvation. Don't go crazy on me. Remember, I'm a behaviorist, not a theologian. But if we do those things and our lives radically change for Jesus Christ, we start growing and, and growing and God starts calling us and challenging us and things really start working in your life. But you know what? It's much, much harder than it's, it's ever been. It's not the easy way. Christ didn't call us to a cruise ship. He called us to a battleship. But we do fellowship with him forever. So, what makes the difference? What we have found in our research that um, is so critical is people reading their Bible. Okay, you know, that's not rocket science, but yes, it actually is. Uh, in all of our surveys, we have found this thing where, you know, um, like you do smoking, non-smoking, we use the same kind of uh, that the scientific community does, you know, people smoking two packs a day are more likely to get cancer than those that don't. I mean, you know how that works. Okay, well, we've done the same thing. We've taken people that are not Christians, that's one group, people that are Christians and divided into two groups, those that read the Bible three days or less, and those that are engaged in Scripture four or more times a week. And you know what we found? We found that there is a significant scientific difference between those people that are engaged four or more times a week than the people that aren't. Matter of fact, if you look at people who claim to be Christians who don't read their Bible or read it one or two days a week, 
and people that aren't, we find on behavioral scales that the people that don't claim the name of Jesus Christ actually do better than the people that do, that, that aren't engaged in Scripture. Okay. Now, I'm probably one of the most liberal thinking people at Back to the Bible, so I don't want you to say, oh, well, you're being a legalist. No, I'm not speaking from a, you know, a legal kind of standpoint. If you aren't reading the Bible seven days a week, you aren't going to make it. I'm, not, I'm, I'm speaking more from a scientific part. And really, it makes sense. If you're going to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, you've got to hear from him. And the only way you can hear from him, or the one way you know for sure, is, is through the Bible. And we have results that show if you do this, your life is going to look completely different from everyone else's. And matter of fact, we were in, uh, our, our stuff was presented to the uni uh, University of Illinois uh, Medical Department and their psychiatry division. We got invited to um, the University of Tel Aviv to present our findings about how the Bible changes people's lives. And you know, it, uh, the University of Tel Aviv has this enlightenment policy where you can't even mention the name of God on campus, and yet we were invited there because we found something that scientifically proves that will change people's behavior. So it, it's, uh, it, it's a radical thing. We're, um, um, it's so simple for most people, it's hard. They just don't have any time to read the Bible. And, and one of the things is, and kids, you know, and you can be a kid at 58. <laughs> um, you can be a kid at any age, but, but kids don't read. You know, they, they'll read text messages, they'll, they'll read, but, but uh, um, so how, how do we get people to engage in, in God's word when, um, when it, it's so hard? And what, what we've done is we've, we've developed something. We're going to show a video about 411 God, and, and uh, we're, going to, we're going to ask you to, uh, to sign up, to sign yourself up and try it. But I would like to challenge you today to have every day some scripture in your life and see what happens, especially if you're stuck. Okay, that, that is... Uh, there's nothing worse than to be stuck spiritually. And that is the first step of what we're developing as a discipleship program um, that we'd like you to try. So uh, I'll be back up. Um, thank you for this opportunity of, of going through this, this passage. Um, Jesus Christ really is knocking at the door and he's waiting for you to have a dynamic relationship with him. And, he, and God only wrote one book you know, and, and we might as well read it, and that's how, how he speaks to us. So thank you.